Welcome back to Raven and God Ross Tarantulas. Um, in this video, we are actually going to be feeding mostly our baby slings because everybody else is pretty much molting or hiding. <laughs> molting or pre-molt, I guess you, you can say. But uh, yeah, we will be getting a lot of our little ones on camera, hopefully. Knock on wood. Now that I said that, nobody's going to eat it. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, let's get to it. We have my Carabina Versicolor, Sammy the Spider, also known as the Martinique Pinto or Antilles Pinto. So she's in her lid, her other part of her enclosure is over here, but she was in her lid when I went to go take it off. That's where she decided to be. I don't know if she'll eat there, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. Somebody is hungry. Holy Moses, girly. Look at look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Freaking gorgeous. You are a gorgeous spider. Look at this. You can see some of the like the like uh ambery colored hair starting to pop up on her butt. That's because she's getting older. She's gonna be another gorgeous set of colors when she's older. But yes. Thank you for eating, and you um, certainly were, were eager to take it, so. Yes, all right. All right, dinner time is over. Enjoy. I don't know how we're going to get you back in there with your mouth full, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to need two hands for that, so. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. I shall leave you be, and we shall go feed our other friends. And here we have the haploclastus. Diva Mappa or the Indian Rainbow Tarantula or the LSD Earth Tiger. I want to see if we can get her to come out and look at her fur. So. Oh, oh, beautiful. Take it. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. We got her on the film again. I never get to see her. I'm so happy. Yeah, that was like 10 seconds. All right, <laughs> I, guess, I guess we will go feed our other friends. That was awesome. Oh yeah, she's also webbed up this entire, entire thing. She has this like tube that goes here and all the way down. As you can see, she is right there eating her crate. <laughs> so yeah, all right, cool. And here we have Skittle. Our resident OBT baby. Look at that butt. She's in such a weird spot for me to try to feed her. I don't know if it's visible to get on here. Is that scaring her? There she comes. You want it or you're just mad at it? can't tell. It won't eat it. So we're just gonna... Eat it. Well... Okay. Well, I will go ahead. Uh-oh. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. All is well. Oh, no! About ready to have an OBT escape. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I lost it in there. Don't worry, friends. I um, I crushed the mandibles for the babies just because I don't want them to get hurt. So, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But there it is. There, there you have it. At least we got a nice, pretty shot of you and your gorgeous web right here. All right. Well, I will leave you alone. I promise. I am so sorry. You might be in pre mold because I have stuffed you silly recently so all right let's see if our other friends want to eat and here we have galactus the goliath bird eater um also known as the theraposa blonde well that's a scientific name i guess it should be also known as the goliath bird eater but anyway let's see if she'll eat on camera for us most likely not because she never does she just tries to leave her closure
Ooh, ooh, no, yeah, that's right, get it. We can get you eating on camera, finally. Oh no, come on, buddy. So close. Don't let it intimidate you. We were two times bigger than this thing. Oh, come on. Come on. Look at that. I'm getting okay, okay. So we getting saucy. Okay, dang girl, throw up posture at the cricket. Okay. Over I will leave you alone to your meal. Clearly you're still a shy eater. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Have a good evening. I guess we will start off with Loki, our Brazilian salmon pink bird eater. Or the Alessio Dura Perhibana. Look at her eyes glow. Reflecting off the light. Let's see if I can uh, feed her in such a way that I'm not obstructing the view of it. Ooh. Can I take it? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry! It fell off the tongue. Is she gonna come back up? Oh, yeah, she's coming back up. Oh! Yep, she uh, came back up and got that. Okay. All right, <laughs> as you see, it disappear out down the hole. We didn't really get to see much. Let me see if I can. Oh, maybe not, maybe it just fell down the hole. No, I don't know. Maybe she did. And here we have Blue Velvet, my GBB, or Green Bottle Blue, or the Chromatopelma, Cyanio Pubescens. And here we have a Dubia Roach. I got a colony. All right, so I don't want to use too many, but I just wanted to introduce one of my new Dubia colonies. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see how she likes them. Whoa, buddy, here. You want it? You went crazy at it. Oh, there we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Intense, intense. Whoa. Yeah, you, uh, you like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I was afraid that maybe you wouldn't like it. I gotta pump that bug back up. <laughs> you can barely go. You're gonna fall, you're gonna fall off your web, buddy. I know you're so excited about the dubia. I'm excited too, but gotta watch it. Where are you going? Oh, look at you. There's a beast. Beast of a spider. Beast. You're so cute. You're so funny. Let's see if we can get a shot of what's going on over here. Oh, she uh, she just keeps moving the more I move. Look at that. Look at that. Sanity. Oh, that's putting up a heck of a fight. I bet she likes that. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I know. Lots of fingers of <laughs> mine in this video. Sorry. Jump that high knee right back up. Yes. Beautiful. You're so pretty. All right, so we will go ahead and leave you to your food. And uh, we will go and see if somebody else is hungry, but they get crickets because we got to leave our doobie roaches to breed. All right. I will leave you to it.
then here we have the Socotra Island Blue Baboon or the Monocentropus Balfouri and her name is Nancy. And she was completely poking out and I managed to get her from her shelf to the floor so I could feed her for everybody. And I managed to scare her in there like you can kind of see her in there, but we will see if she will come out for some food. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, there you go, but oop, <laughs> and I hit the light. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Yay! I mean, that was kind of like a weird angle. I really see you, but yeah, she's got the cricket. She is happy with her cricket. Let's see, I can kind of see her top down over here. I can't really see her. I was hoping she would come out better so we could see her better, but I guess not. Maybe from the side? Can we see her from the side very well? Not really. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, I know. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the crazy movement. Oh, you're just gonna sit right there and eat it, huh, buddy? Maybe you'll take a second one. Want a second one? I mean, that was pretty big for you, but also, let's see if we want another cricket. Probably not, but. We will go ahead and try to do kind of a smaller one. Or not. Or not. It'll be like 10 minutes of me trying to get a cricket while you guys stare at her eating. <laughs> Heard the usual. Let's see if she wants to take another one. Oh, nope. She's like, bye. I'm done. She took her cricket and left. All right. I will leave you. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming out and eating. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what our other keys are up to and if they want to eat. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, before I go, I wanna show you something pretty cool. So now, now we've got a dubia colony. All of my very own, so. Yeah, check that out. No, I got it. I got it. God, Ross love, loves watching them scatter. Yeah, look. We've got a whole colony happening. We have a lot of little baby ones everywhere, as you can see. But I also got a shipment of baby ones in. Um, and a couple other ones in today, actually. Which is where that guy on his back. Sorry, that's not dirt. That's a... Uh, condensation from the water <laughs> um yeah the guy on his back looks like he's in a partial molt so i just kind of put him on the water dish in case he needs to be moist but he he came packaged like that today but yeah the rest of them i had for a like a month a little over a month now a month monthish so my dad yeah and uh we've got lots of little little babies we got roach chow and some carrots a little water dish. I keep that little paper towel moist. Um, the temperature in here, I actually have it registered on their cool side. They have a heating mat on the side over here and underneath. So naturally, just to be on the safe side and monitor the temperature over here in the cooler part. Got something to measure their humidity and their temperature. It's only 76 right now because I keep taking the lid off. And also I just missed the crap out of them, but usually that reads about 80. And again, that's from here. So down here, I'm gonna say it's probably between 85, 90 between all these crates and stuff. So but yeah, and the uh, humidity is at 61 per thand. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I rambled about my roaches. I'm really excited. I really like them. Plus I just, I just think they're cool in general <laughs> i love uh it makes me sad feeding them to my bearded dragon which i've done a few times now but because they're very very interesting anyway yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe um stay tuned for a rehousing video and a feeding video i know i said that a while ago about this video and i just forgot to make my opening and my closing for it 
and then time got away from me so that was my fault and I'm sorry but yeah um I do have another video already ready to go I just have to feed like two more spiders and see if they even eat on camera it's probably a waste of my time and then I will upload that one um plus we actually had a couple of molts so you will see that in the next video all right see you guys in the next one